Sulfuric acids? No. no. Have you heard about sulfuric acids? No. You know acids? Yes. So today I'm going to explain to you what is exactly sulfuric acids. So there is a process that involved in manufacturing the uh, sulfuric acid. So number one, stage one, uh, only three stage involved. For stage one, we have sulfur and dry air. Okay, in this diagram, sulfur and dry air, that being heated and producing sulfur dioxide. After that, react with excess oxygen, and then in the presence of catalyst, vanadium, uh, in the pressure of 450 degree Celsius, uh, forms sulfur trioxide. Right. Next, it will react with concentrated sulfuric acid and forms oleum. Afterwards, uh, react with water and last one forms sulfuric acids. Do you understand class? No. no! Which part you don't understand? Miss, I don't understand how to visualize the process. I cannot imagine. So, do you have any idea to visualize the process? How about we create a model? Wow. Wow. Yes. 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 That's exactly what I wanted to do. I have prepared some materials for you. So, this is it. To produce sulfuric acid, we use the contact process. This model right here explains the entire contact process. The contact process consists of three stages. Let me explain to you the first stage. Now if you look here, in this first stage, we need only sulfur and dry air. So here, we need molten sulfur. Molten sulfur here will be flowed into this furnace right here and inside the furnace the molten sulfur will be burnt with dry air which will produce sulfur dioxide gas for stage 2 in the converter sulfur dioxide and excess oxygen are passed over a few plates of vanadium 5 oxide the catalyst at 450 degrees celsius which produce sulfur trioxide almost all sulfur dioxide is converted into sulfur trioxide. Therefore, this process is a reversible reaction. Actually, in stage 3, sulfur trioxide can be added directly with water to produce sulfuric acid. But the reaction is not been done in, the, in industry. Why? Because the reaction will produce a lot of heat and a large cloud of sulfuric acid mist. The mist is corrosive and pollutes the air and difficult to condense. Then we move to the last stage, which is absorber. Okay, in this uh, stage, the sulfur, the sulfuric trioxide will react with the uh, concentrated uh, sulfuric acid to produce oleum. When the oleum is produced, oleum will dilute with the water to produce sulfuric acid and waste product. So what we did just now was called project-based learning. It was simple. We came up with a model and we explained it to our friends. Now in my opinion, I think that this method is an effective way to make me able to understand and visualize the process. After the uh, activity, I can imagine the process and understand it better.